Good morning and welcome Team Southside, where teamwork makes the dream work. Miss Drill is here. And Miss D. And we are here, just the two of us, and we are going to say the pledge together. Here we go. So go ahead and stand up and say it with us. I, I pledge allegiance to, to the flag of the United States, States of America and to the republic for which it stands, one nation, under God, indivisible, with liberty and justice for all. Well, Mr. Reynolds, we are in an undisclosed location. Mm. We'll see if they can figure out which room we are in. Who can identify this location? I mean, to me, there's some really good clues that you can notice while we're talking in the background, maybe. So hopefully you can figure out exactly where we have stationed up today. All right, you guys. Well, we have made it halfway through our week, and we hope you've had a fabulous week so far. And you know, we are doing two words of the... Week. week and our two words of the week are featured on our very own portrait of a learner and those two words are being a resilient learner mm, yes. so this week we've had some examples of being you know a resilient learner and we've also learned what it means to be a resilient learner and I want to do a shout out, Mr. Reynolds. Okay, let's hear it. I want to shout out Mr. Sheldon's third grade class. When I was in there, when they were doing math, Mr. Sheldon gave them a chance to be resilient learners. And they even talked about being resilient learners. They were doing things with milliliters and liters. And in fact, they were decomposing liters. Mm. And that's kind breaking of challenging, it breaking like it, it down, using number bonds. And Mr. Sheldon said that at first, is really really challenging for his kids and that is pretty challenging if you think about it but they kept trying they didn't give up and honestly when i was in there i had no idea that they would have even struggled because they were doing so well with it they so they had the sense. opportunity to be resilient learners so good job mr sheldon in your third grade class full of resilient learners yeah i think their kids have an opportunity to do that a lot and yes. I, I appreciate them working so hard things don't always come easy it's true it's very in life, true. In school, it doesn't matter where you are. They don't come right. easy. And you have to be resilient. You have to keep working hard to master those new concepts. Absolutely. And, and we love to see you learn. And we love most of all when you really, really push, even when times get hard. So great job being resilient learners. Right. All right. Are you ready? Got my camera. You ready? Oh, got a nice smile for you. That's right. You know what, guys? Picture day. That's right. Picture day's coming up one week from yesterday. So yes. next Tuesday is picture day here at Southside. And I'm so excited. I cannot wait to see everybody's dazzling smiles. So next Tuesday, come in your best dress, ready to take a picture for our yearbook. Okay. Well, I think that's all that we have for you guys. You know we love seeing you be here at Southside, here at school every single day. I know it's the season for sniffles and colds, so make sure you keep washing your hands, wearing your jacket when you're outside so you can stay healthy, and of course, come to school as much as possible. And you know we love seeing you be safe, respectful, respectful and, and responsible. responsible. And it's, it's always, always a great, great day, day to be a Southside Stallion. Stallion. Bye, y'all.